Good morning, my good people. What's up, family? It's Taylor Local Trucker here, man, on my Wednesday route. Early in the morning, y'all. And I'm already running into issues. Check this out. Y'all see that right there? If y'all recall from my last Wednesday video, I used a lift gate and a pallet jack. My pallet jack is dead. Luckily at this stop, man, my first stop, the pallet drop, they got a manual jack I can use. But that's not the only little piece of problems that I'm running into today. Check this out. Ooh, wee. Let me get out of the way. Look at that freezer pallet. I got a down stack, that thing. Which is cool, man. I won't go and really film or record that much, but the beauty of it is, man, is that kind of leads me into what I want to talk about today, which is why you should not get your CDLs and why you should not aspire to be a truck driver. But I'm going to tap back in with y'all a little later, man. I got to work that pallet, get these people their stuff and get on down the road. So y'all stay tuned, man. Catch y'all at another stop. If not, we'll be back at the yard, and we're going to talk about what we're going to talk about today. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all see that right there, fam? Almost 20,000 steps. A little over eight miles a day, man. I was going to do some recording today at a few stops, but when my pallet jack died, I was rolling cases at my mall location from the parking deck, up the elevator, down the hallway to the location, man. Whew. But you know what, though? I still had a good day, y'all. This job has really taught me the art of perseverance and positivity. And when you realize that you're going to do the job anyway, you got to shake off the frustration. But anyway, it's Taylor Local Trucker here, y'all. Today, man, I'm waiting for one of my co-workers to get back. Because um, I left my keys in the truck this morning. The truck that I'm currently in now is the one I like to drive the most. And the relay driver was pulling up with the truck right when I was about to hook up to my load. And I left my car keys in the truck that I was actually in. So my co-worker has it, but he's on the way back now. So I figured I'd take a moment to talk with y'all real quick, man. So today, man, I just want to talk about three reasons, maybe even four, on why you should not get your CDLs. For those of you who are listening, you know, if you're thinking about going to trucking school, or you might be in trucking school and might be trying to decide if this is for you or not for you, I hope you find some value in what I'm about to say. And this isn't to offend or upset anyone, man, or kill any dreams, because I'm not a dream killer. I promise you I'm not. I just want people to be realistic about what they're getting themselves into, man. So reason number one on why you shouldn't get your CDLs is if you're doing it just for the money. This isn't a profession, man, where you should just be doing it for the money. As a matter of fact, you shouldn't do anything for just the money, to be honest with you, because if it's just to get paid, you're not going to last very long. You need to have some other extenuating factors as to why you want to become a truck driver or get your CDLs. It could be money, yes, is a big factor of it, but it needs to be more. For example, a schedule, right? Like, when I was working in fast food chain restaurants the schedule was real sporadic I worked every weekend I worked a lot of nights and so I never got a lot of home time or family time my kids were in school during the day and I may be at home during the day but if I slept a big chunk in the morning away by 2 o'clock in the afternoon it's time to get ready to go to work again so schedule is a big piece benefits also when I was working that line of work I didn't get any benefits no 
health care, no insurance, no vision, no dental. As y'all see, I wear glasses. Um, no 401k. And of course, if I didn't get it, neither did my family. Money shouldn't re- be the only reason why you want to get into trucking. You know, maybe if you're looking for something more career oriented as far as like something that you want to do long term and what you're doing right now isn't it and if it's just for money trucking ain't gonna be long term for you my driver instructor told us in trucking school that by year number number one that 80 percent of the members in the class were not going to be in the truck anymore i'm sure that's pretty true because i've ran into some of my former truck classmates and they're not driving Reason number two, man, attitude and patience. If you can't get your attitude under control, or if you're lacking patience and perseverance, trucking isn't going to be for you. And it doesn't matter what field you're in. If you're OTR, for example, everything is about getting on-time deliveries. So you can get to your delivery destination and you could be waiting hours before you get unloaded or loaded if you're going to pick up a load. I experienced that with my time out on the road for Trans Am. And it can just push back your time of what you have to do moving forward as far as when you need to get your next load to the next destination to be on time. Or you may run into a lot of traffic, accidents. And if you're the one who is very keen to have a little little bit of road rage or a lot of road rage then this ain't gonna be for you also dealing with customers or more civilian personnel out there on the road I deal with or encounter people who are upset with me all the time based on how I'm parked because it's inconvenient for them or customers might be upset because my load was late so I'm not on time and you gotta be able to persevere and fight through that and have patience dealing with people because if not you're gonna find yourself in a situation where the company's gonna let you go or you're going to quit because you don't wanna deal or can't deal with people on that level so patience and perseverance you need to be able to build that up or maybe consider doing something a lot less strenuous or customer oriented per se. Because people think that in trucking that you don't deal with customers because you do a lot of driving, you do a lot of traveling. But in reality, you really do. Because once you get to your shipper or your delivery destination, you got to deal with the people that's there. You got to deal with the people that's at the warehouse. You got to deal with your your dispatcher. Or if you're doing local, if you're doing, you know, fuel. You got to deal with the people that you interact with or encounter. Take it for when you got to work beverage. Those guys have to get checked in. They're merchandising, so they're putting it up and getting checked in. And if you can't deal with the fact that you have to be patient waiting for the clerk to come and check you in and put the product up, you're going to have a hard time surviving in this industry. Reason number three, why you shouldn't get your CDLs if you lack discipline, man. And this is a two-fold thing. One is, if you lack discipline as far as getting up on time to get to your yard if you're local, like I am, to get out here on these routes and and start getting this stuff off the trailer or if you lack discipline to set yourself on a schedule when you're OTR to drive a certain amount of time get to the truck stop get your 10 hour reset get back up and drive some more because on time deliveries matter in the trucking world then you're not going to make it because execution is worship and if you can't execute no matter what field of trucking you're in if you can't execute you're not going to survive very long doing it and it won't be as a matter of you quitting it'll be because the company's going to let you go it takes a certain amount of discipline when you're out here in these trucks and you're by yourself and you know you have to get from point a to point z and it all depends on you nobody's breathing down your neck nobody's over your shoulder nobody's cuddling you or prodding you 
to do the job that you're supposed to be doing, the job that you're being paid to do. You have to do it on your own accord. And if you lack in that discipline and that wherewithal and that drive, you're not going to last long. So if you know you're not a disciplined person and you know you have a problem executing, getting your CDLs may not be for you. The second part of that, of being disciplined, is if you have a problem or lack the discipline and the drive to put down any illegal substance, aka marijuana, cocaine, oxy, that you know that you're going to be drug tested for. I understand and I'm well aware that there are legal limits when it comes to marijuana, but it's not legal for truck drivers, guys, and it, it's just not. It may be a federal legal limit, it may be legal in the state that you live in, but it is not legal under DOT regulations, and if you have a problem or lack the discipline of being able to put that down in order to take on a career that's going to change your family's tree, this ain't the career for you. I understand there's CBD, there's hemp, all these things that are below or right at the legal limit, but it doesn't matter when you're a truck driver, guys. It's the same thing with alcohol. If you don't have the discipline to not drink, there's a certain amount of, I think it's I think you have to have three or four hours, and I could be wrong. Y'all let me know down in the comments. I'm not big on drinking. If I do, it's really on the weekend. If you're not disciplined enough to not drink and separate the amount of time from your last drink till it's time you to get in the truck, this ain't for you. And I'm speaking as a husband and a father. The last thing I want is somebody else out there on the road operating 80,000 pounds like I am under the influence of anything and you take out my wife and kids or even me or another family those things need to run through your mind you need to think long and hard about that because if you lack any of these things I just talked about or if your desire to get in the truck and this for reason number one consider something else guys that's all I'm saying but if not, and you know that it's deeper than the money, and you know you got patience, or you can build patience, and you can be disciplined, and you in the right field, and you can change your family tree. Anyway, that's my time, guys. My co-worker just pulled up with my kids. I got to get down this road to get to my kids. Y'all stay tuned for new content. If you find some value in what I'm saying, Please consider hitting the like and subscribe button. Drop a comment below. Share this with somebody you know might be thinking about going to trucking school. Until the next one, y'all.